Gilligan Phantom, you sure are handsome. Marine grade wire. Stranded, tinned, the best stuff you can get. Of course, it's more expensive. We've got 14.3 and 12.3. 14 gauge, stranded, sheathed, marine. 12 gauge, 200 for that, 100 for that. Also got an electrical plan. I've got the amperage of all of our fixtures, general distances, which will help you determine how big or what gauge wire you need. Everything's planned out. This is going to be a pantry in the kitchen. And then the bottom of the pantry, we're gonna have an electrical station. Inside the electrical station, we're gonna fit our batteries. But to get cables from this side of the bus, from the panel to this side of the bus, we've got two options. Let's go through the roof. That'd be okay. I think the better option is drill a hole there, drill a hole there, run the wires underneath, and then have them come up in the fridge cabinet. Fridge is right across from the pantry, and a bunch have to go along here. So I'm gonna make some holes in the floor, which is always scary. So I just stuck this one line in the wall, and then my buddy showed up, uh, Matt. He's got a company in Charleston called Low Voltage Solutions, and he went over my plan with me. He looked at my wire sizes, he gave me a couple ideas, and he confirmed that my plan's good. And uh, with that, I feel confident to start putting holes in the floor and wiring everything up. So let's do it. Goggles would have been appropriate. You want me to go grab them? Yeah. We, do. yeah. <laughs> we gotta make sure that the people they see that we're careful. We're not. But we should be. Yeah. We're setting an example. Mm-hmm. You want that? Sure. Yeah. For the record, he's denying this and these. She's given us a good old nap. Yay. Yay, we get to work together. That was so corny. All right, so all of the electrical lines are run on the driver's side of the bus. Making this hole in the floor and over there too. So we'll be right back with a more powerful drill. She likes it, huh? It's not too cold. I put some warm water in there. Uh, mm. uh, <laughs> oh, clap, clap. <laughs> So this circuit right here is going to be a 20 amp GFCI outlet that's going to be mounted right here and this will give us something to plug into for anything we might want to run power tools from. So next up is the induction cooktop which is going to get a 20 amp circuit breaker. I don't really know how much wire I'm going to need to wire into the panel. I'm keeping about four wraps around this thing. I'm assuming I'll mess one of these up. You know, and I wonder how you fix it if you mess it up, but there's a way. I did this because I feel like it gives me a lot of opportunities in the future if I ever needed to run wires. I had to come into the undercarriage storage to get this outlet and the mini split anyway. In the end, I'm really happy that I made holes in the floor. Oh man, I just realized I shouldn't have done that. I have one more line to run through here, but I've snugged them all tight and I'm still waiting on some more 12 too. Oopsie poopsie, as Val likes to say. And the women up front, they call me by Are 
are labeled now. Let's get some spaghetti. And all these are labeled. And all these are labeled. Almost every single wire is run. And I wanted to tell you what each of them is gonna be. Kind of like a floor plan sneak peek. This right here is gonna be a 12 volt receptacle for a 12 volt box fan. And there's another one. How do you wanna film me? Box fan with receptacle. Yes. Another 12 volt receptacle inside of this couch. AC circuit that will serve a charging hub for things that need to be charged with AC. 12 volt line for the composting toilet. 12 volt line for the water pump. Two USB reading lights, AC line for the mini split. And then we go underneath, and this is gonna be AC power in the bedroom. Two 12 volt lines, which will serve for receptacles in the bunk beds. The DC refrigerator. One for the induction cooktop. And the things that you don't see are one more 12 volt line, which will serve for that couch. An AC line, which will come up here for the GFCI kitchen outlet. Same thing over here, another GFCI 20 amp kitchen outlet. And then there will be a line straight off the box for an electric water heater. A hallway light, bathroom light. I ran a light for the dinette, some kind of a globe light. And I still have to run another 12 into here for my dimmer switches for 12 volt LED lights. I kind of wonder, like, am I overdoing it? Like there's so many circuits and wires and things and it's like such a small space. Oh well, that's what I'm doing. Hey! What are you wondering? Where your car key might be. Oh, did you look on the table? I did. I feel like I picked it up yesterday. I know, but I used it this morning to get the soil out of the car. Oh, this morning? Uh -huh. I'm no help. What were you wearing? Oh, those shorts. Okay. Thanks, Vin. I did it! I saved the day. <laughs> I wouldn't say you saved the day. And Corinne's day. here. All right, I didn't save the day. Uh-oh. I washed those shorts in the washing machine. You clothes. washed my key? Yeah. It's broken forever. Just oh. kidding, it's just a piece of metal. Oh, it's just a key key? <laughs> it's a key key! It's a key key! I gotta say that I'm really happy with how the wiring, well, really just how easy it was. And there's some things that we did that I didn't think about wiring when I did it, but it made everything way easier. And one of those was just furring out the ceiling by three quarters of an inch. We did this literally just so we could get more insulation and create a nice thermal break. But it's also made it just so easy to run wires. I'm really happy with the decisions that we made. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching our video. If you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. And if you know somebody that you think might like our videos, share the link with them too. Just like Nova is our growing baby, so is our YouTube channel, and we put a lot of love and time into these videos, so we would just love to be able to share them with anybody interested. Thanks again. Goodbye! <laughs> <laughs>